Good morning, everyone. This is Professor Fleming here with a short step-by-step -step lecture on how to record lectures for a snowstorm day. And some of the things that we're going to be covering today are opening a PowerPoint. should be able to do that. Opening Snagit recording software. I'll be explaining that. Inputting settings. I'll be explaining that. I'm going to start recording the screen. I'm going to deliver a lecture. I'm going to exit the video. I'm going to save it to an MP4, which is a movie file. And I'm going to get the file and I'm going to share it with the Blackboard. So let's get started, shall we? So let's say that now you've opened your PowerPoint and you're ready to go and you want to have this lecture for your class so your students aren't si sitting at home sipping hot chocolate and sledding and having fun. So the first thing you want to do is, um, the second thing you want to do is you want to see this little movie camera here. So when you've gotten Snagit, and you'll have to uh, put a work order into OIR to get Snagit installed. It's a very low cost, easy to use program. Um, this will always be on your desktop. So anytime you want to record anything that you're doing, you can do it. And in this particular case, I think I'll just hit the big red button and record this lecture. So I'm hitting recording and the cool thing is that you get this crosshairs that allow you to define the area that you want to capture on your screen. And I just should explain that everything that I record, everything that I do on my screen and say will be captured. So be careful what you say. So I've now set the size of my screen and it says ready to record. The one thing you want to look at is this little guy down here tells you um, how well the microphone is capturing your sound. And you can see from the bouncing green levels here that I'm actually doing pretty well. Um, I just wanted to let you know that there are different kinds of microphones. I'm using a USB headset, which you can also order from OIR. But you can even just use the microphone in your Mac or PC. So either way it can work. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the record button and deliver the lecture. And then I'm going to post it just like I said I would. So I'm hitting record and it tells you when to start. And uh, so good morning, everybody. I'm hoping you're having a great snowstorm day. I'm here to disrupt your fun with this wonderful lecture from my class because I don't want you to fall behind. And um, now you would deliver your lecture as a PowerPoint like you would normally would. The computer is capturing what's happening right now on screen. And um, I'm going to take you through those steps. As we said, I'm going to keep recording. So I opened the PowerPoint. I did my settings. I recorded. I'm delivering my lecture right now. So imagine this is a 40-minute lecture or 30 minutes, 20 minutes, I hope. I'm going to exit the video. So how do you exit the video? Um, if you remember, it gave you my little clue there. It said Shift F10. So I'm finalizing the video now. So Snagit has just recorded everything that we just did from when I said start record and stop record and if I want I can play it to see if it actually worked okay a terrible start to a lecture in any case um, now what I want to do is I've got my lecture it's 20 to 40 minutes whatever 10 minutes whatever I'm going to want to save that as an mp4 and get that up on blackboard so I'm going to, I don't know, I think I'll use this little button right here. It says save. And what's nice about Snagit is it kind of knows what you want to do or not. Oh, good. See, and it says MP4 file. That's what you want to use. That's sort of the um, the accepted format that we're most, most of us are using. So snow day lecture. So now I have an MP4, and this will be a very big file. So when you do a real lecture, these files will be very large. So you have to prepare for the time for uploading and downloading and um, hopefully you have a good connection at home. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to save this into a place where I can find it and I hit save. So what uh, the software is doing is actually saving the video. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go over to my hard drive and we're going to see if we can find and I'm having some problems there. Let's see if we can find and don't judge my hard drive, okay? I have a lot of files. But there we go. Snow Day Lecture, 12-12-847. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this right now today, right before. Nothing like waiting to the last minute. So let's check the file and make sure it works. Okay. So I now have an MP4 that works that's on my hard drive, so I don't need that anymore. What I want to do now is go over to Blackboard and post this file and then send out an email to the students letting them know 
that the file is coming out. So I'm going to go to one of my classes that's running this semester. And Blackboard, of course, is critical uh, to make these kinds of things work because there's really not any other, there's really no other easy ways to distribute this. So the first thing is I have a folder called class recordings already in my class because I do a lot of these. I do a lot of flip classes and I go to build content and I don't even pick video. I mean, you can do video and all that stuff. I just pick item because I'm in a hurry and I know it works. And um, so snow day, snow day lecture. And I don't put anything in there because I'm going to do an announcement in a minute. I browse my computer and what I'm going to be doing is uploading that over to um, the file. So I have to go on my desktop. I have to find the folder where I put the file. So you, you, most of you are pretty organized. There's my file. This is a very small file. You'll have a very large file. So um, just keep that in mind. And I'm going to go ahead and submit this and upload it. And then we're going to wait. So now I'm going to stall while this is happening. It says waiting for Blackboard. Oh wait, something happened. I think it's done. In Blackboard you all should remember that your latest posting goes to the bottom. We don't know why. Maybe I could probably fix that if I had time to think about it. So now I have a snow day lecture that's been posted to um, into Blackboard. So now I'm going to go to my home page and I'm going to go to my announcements and I'm sure most of you have used the announcement function and I'm going to open up an announcement and I'm going to say create announcement that makes pretty much good sense I'm going to say um, snow day I'm going to say I am sorry to report that you should watch this lecture watch this lecture instead of snowboarding and having hot chocolate you get the idea what I would probably do here is uh, these are sort of short-term announcements so I always use, use the display until and I change that to the 22nd so this announcement will only be available to the 22nd and of course I want to send this announcement to everybody in the class um, at that point I would hit submit but I won't because this is a real blackboard file with a real class and I really don't want to confuse them at that point you're done you've completed what you need to do in order to succeed so let me just go back to the black to the PowerPoint I think that I did everything I said I would do that's the wrong one saved mp4 get file and share it I think that we're done so I hope that this was helpful and I look forward to not seeing you today because I'm gonna be at another class take care